Welcome to the Bloomingdale Public Library's program on Apple iMovie Next Steps. This video may be beneficial to any of you that watched our last iMovie program, and I'll cover some ideas and tips that were not covered in that previous video. For this program, we will be using the iPad version of iMovie. The first tip we'll go over is to color correct the footage before importing it into iMovie if color correction is needed. Now in iMovie, there is a spot where you can apply different color effects or filters to your videos, but it is limited. So if you go into your Photos app on your iPhone or iPad, you can apply filters and color corrections in more detail. So first, go to the Photos app and select an item. Now click Edit, and then on the side here, we can apply these filters. I can also adjust how powerful the filter is. We can control exposure, highlights, shadows, contrast, brightness, saturation, etc. All right here within the Photos app. iMovie doesn't have these advanced effects within the app, even though Apple made the Photos app and iMovie. So before you go and import your footage into iMovie, maybe consider applying these filters and corrections first and then import it right into iMovie. For the next tip, I'm going to apply cinematic black bars onto a clip. To start, we'll go back to our web browser and we'll search blackbars.png in Google. This will pull up PNG images that have a capability of having a transparent background, which we will need for this. I'll just click on one that has the transparent background represented by the gray and white pattern. We'll save that image. And then we can import that image. In as a picture in picture right over to the top of our video. We can utilize these tools here to make adjustments. And then what we're going to do is grab it and we're going to position it at full screen. And there it is. We now have cinematic black bars on our clip. For the next tip, how about adding a zoom during a video clip? For example, you want to zoom in on someone real quick for a little bit and then zoom right back out. Well, we can do that in iMovie, so we'll need to split the video clip in three sections. The first section is going to be zoomed out. The second section is going to be zoomed in and the third section will be zoomed out. So on the second section, on the iPad, I'll just click this plus icon and I can pinch to zoom in. So we'll zoom in on these people here as they're walking forward a bit. And then I'll click on that when I'm done. Since there's no transitions in between these clips, when I click play, it'll show them walking. It'll show them zoomed in, and then it's going to zoom right back out. And so that's how we can apply that effect in iMovie. Now how about using a green screen effect with iMovie? So let's start a new project by hitting the plus button, tap new project, then tap movie. To start off first, find the background that you would want to use. Then tap Create Movie, then touch the film clip. Drag it over to the middle. Remember, this is going to be our background. 
Let's go up to the top right corner and hit plus. Now we're going to find the video with the green background that I have ready. You can always make your own though or find one online. All right, here it is, a man and a green screen. Look at the three dots side by side and then tap this. A menu pops up and the fourth choice down is green slash blue screen. Tap that and it puts it right on top of the film clip where our playhead was located. Now if we move the playhead over to the left and press play, the vegetable background video will be the only thing playing. Then once the green screen clip begins, this is what it looks like. You get this rather funny looking overlay of a man with a vegetable background. Let's move the playhead to the start of the overlay. Touch the film clip. Options will appear below. Let's tap split and we'll get rid of the part on the left. Now we have a man using the green screen to a vegetable background. So that part's finished. In the upper right, let's tap the X. Then in the upper left, we will hit done. To change the title, tap where it says my movie and we'll rename it green screen. Now I'll show you how to screen record and to make sure the microphone is actually on and recording your voice. So to start off, you're going to want to access your control center in the top right hand corner in the area where your battery charge symbol is. Then what we'll do is gently drag our fingers straight down, top to bottom. This opens up the control center. If you do not see the screen record icon dot at the bottom of the control center, we can go to settings, control center, and add the icon. Now let's go back and it will be there. The icon for screen record is the dot with the circle around it. Mine is blinking or flashing because I am recording right now. Yours should be gray if you're not recording. Now just touching the icon to stop and start recording works fine, but it doesn't show you if the microphone is activated or not. To check that, tap and hold and when you do that, it'll give you the option to begin or stop recording. Also, if you look down, it'll give you the status of the microphone. Clicking on it changes the state of the microphone. Microphone on, microphone off. So if you want to screen record and make sure that you have sound being captured, make sure your microphone is turned on. Now I already have a screen capture clip available in my photos where these clips will be saved by default. We can import that clip into iMovie for editing. Thank you for viewing the Bloomingdale Public Libraries program on Apple iMovie Next Steps. I hope this has been helpful to you and that you can take these and be creative and find even more tips and tricks for yourself during your projects. If you're looking for more tips and information, however, on iMovie, you can register with LinkedInLearning.com through our library's website link using your Bloomingdale Public Library card number and PIN to view courses on this topic and many others for free. Take care and see you in the next one.